So, uh, hello everyone and welcome to the first webinar of the Open Data Competition EU Data 2020. Uh, my name is uh, Ima Farfan and uh, I'm working in the Publications Office in the EU Open Data Portal. Uh, this competition is organized by the Publications Office of the European Union together with the uh, European Commission Director General uh, Regional and uh, Urban Policy. So, I'm going to guide you very quickly through or website to explain to you like the main rules about this so as you can see here the slogan is like innovating for europe with eu open data so you will have the possibility to see the different webinars here so okay so here, for example, you can see them. So there are going to be different webinars. So the data, the different data providers and our partners will have the possibility to show the potential of the data they have. So the aim of these webinars is to uh, help participants to come with proposals and ideas for before the submission of the the deadline of the submission. That is the third of May. So as you can see here, we have different challenges that are aligned with the. Uh, goals of the European Commission, so the European Green Deal, an economy that works for people, a new push for European democracy, uh, Europe fits for the digital age. So here with these uh, four different challenges, it comes like three different uh, prizes you can see here. And then uh, once you're listed, the teams that are, can be up to uh, for uh, for people will have the opportunity to present their projects in the European Week of Regions and Cities in Brussels, where the, on the 15th is going to happen the final uh, competition. So it's the fourth edition of this competition. And if you have further questions, you can always like contact us directly by this, uh, whoops, by this uh, functional uh, mailbox, and we will be glad to help you in whatever we can. So to start, we want to welcome uh, the European Environment Agency that is going to present their data, more concretely for the Challenge 1, a Europe, uh, an European Green Deal. So I will give them the floor. So you can start whatever you want. Give me one second. Okay. Yeah. Cool, perfect. So the floor is yours. Thank you, Inma. Hello from Copenhagen, from the European Environment Agency, or the EEA from Copenhagen. And uh, I would like to start by uh, presenting a bit of uh, what we do, which is very much related to the okay. European Green Deal, which is the theme of the challenge so number one for the day no, 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 no. Uh, We cover um, um, a lot of these uh, subjects, uh, as you can see on our uh, homepage, air pollution, climate change adaptation, climate change mitigation, biodiversity, water and marine environment, environment and health, and a lot of other uh, subjects that you can uh, read on our uh, homepage. Uh, our strength actually comes from the fact that uh, we have uh, 32 members uh, and uh, six uh, cooperating countries, which are all uh, delivering data to the EEA uh, on all these uh, uh, environment uh, themes. And uh, you can see that actually on our website, in, uh, uh, on the data and uh, maps section, where you can choose if you want to see all data products uh, or uh, just data sets or infographics or interactive maps. And uh, all this data that comes from the 38 countries uh, that are uh, feeding into the uh, Environment Agency uh, is, uh, is being uh, manipulated and uh, uh, checked and uh, verified by our experts and uh, one of our experts uh, is Blaj and he's going to present the data sets that are going to constitute the, um, the raw material for the data. Blaj, please. Yeah. Thank you, Laura. Uh, I will present you the, the data on climate change impacts, vulnerability and adaptation. Um, so, since the, 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 the topic of the challenge is the Green Deal and adaptation is also one of the, uh, let's say, focuses of the Green Deal, we uh, decided to present you what kind of data we have um, 
contributing to, to understanding the climate change adaptation in Europe. So I was I will actually present you three different types of data. First one is about uh, climate change impacts and the vulnerability in Europe. Second one is on economic losses due to the weather and climate extreme events. And the third one is vulnerability of the European society. So let's start firstly with the, with the data on climate change impacts. We have published a so-called story map a couple of weeks ago, presenting different climate change impacts in Europe and also looking on the specific regions, which we believe, or we actually wanted to feature in this application, uh, which will be the most affected uh, by climate change, different climate change hazards in the future. So looking into this data, they are all available in forms of dynamical maps, uh, available through the uh, web mapping service, and all the links will be provided uh, that all the participants of the data plan can download the data or link them to the specific um, programs or the specific um, tools. So firstly, it's about uh, looking into the future climate projection on droughts, how the drought will change in the future, ensuring using different scenarios, then uh, featuring the, the agriculture sector, what are the differences in the income of the agriculture, uh, or the farm income in the future with or without adaptation and then going down on more specific uh, heavy rain and flash floods which is also one of the damaging climate hazards in Europe uh, forest fires very uh, let's say topic uh, very uh, featured and also an important topic since we are uh, experienced forest fires already now and there are countries or the regions in Europe which will be the increase in the forest fires. The second one, this last one is the sea level rise. Uh, looking at how the sea level rise will, will change based on two different scenarios. Looking in the flooding uh, based on this sea le level rise, coastal flooding. And then the last application, it's uh, in, into the estimated population living in the coastal lowlands and how this will be affected by the sea level rise or extreme sea level, level rise between one and six meters, which we expect that will be actually in specific cases affecting the coastal regions in Europe. As I mentioned before, uh, we have also the regional perspective. I will not go into much in the details, but of course the users or the contestants of this uh, webinar uh, or data, data clone can basically look at this regions zoom in and and present and uh, make a specific story out of that. Of course, one of the topic of the data clone is also the, the urban and regional perspective. So we have also the data on the cities, which I would like to click somewhere here. Um, so basically, here is showing um, cities are affected or will be affected by the sea level rise, especially the coastal cities, and what will be the estimated population affected, and how will be um, the regions or the, the share of the city affected by the potential river flooding in, at the end of the century. So this is one aspect of the data. Another one, of course, it's very important, uh, is also what are the economic losses due to the weather and climate extremes. This we have also data at the EEA. They are collected through the different data providers and they come in form of uh, aggregation per countries only, not per region or the city because it's so difficult to actually correct the reliable data. And these data are actually showing how much the Europe is losing um, uh, or because of the weather and climate extreme events in million of euros, also the calculation per capita, per square kilometer, and what are the insured and non-insured losses, and what is the percentage between insured and non-insured losses. Also, we are actually accounting the fatalities. These data are available, like I said, for 38 years, since 1980. The last date currently is 2017, but we are updating with the new data. Um, and this data can be also visualized based on the group of different weather and climate extremes, like um, 
geophysical hazards, meteorological hazards, hydrological hazards, and uh, climatological hazards. And also they can be visualized uh, accumulatively year by year, filtering out in this case, because we are talking mostly about uh, weather and climate extremes. We only look at the climatological, hydrological, and meteorological events. And you can see that they are basically years which we, Europe lost a couple of billion euros, um, let's say up to 35, 36 specific years due to these kind of events. The third thing, also very important, is the data on the social aspects. We know that different social groups, different age groups uh, are vulnerable to climate change, and it depends that basically vulnerability depends from the social structure. And here we have a data in the Climate Adapt. Climate Adapt is our adaptation platform, and we are collecting different information adaptation and presenting them. One of the top is so-called urban adaptation maps, uh, and one of the top in the urban adaptation maps, social vulnerability. And here you can see, based on the uh, data for different uh, regions in Europe, uh, for different uh, cities, how much we are having the share of population in different the, let's say, social groups. These data are here available. For example, we know that the elderly people are more vulnerable to, to heat waves, um, and uh, when looking into the heat waves, or the droughts, or the, 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 the weather and climate extremes, it's also important that we know what kind of population is living where and how this population is at risk to this impact. And these data are here available, like for example, we have percentage of people per city above 75 years old, number of kids, uh, percentage of the long pensioners, unemployment, and so on. So you can all play, go in, check the data, play with it, and, and try to understand how this can all fit together. So then, just to conclude, the challenge here would be to combine all these data sets on climate change impacts, on economic losses, and on social vulnerabilities together, prepare, let's say, a story around that, or application around that, which can be the users then understanding the whole of let's say the whole picture about how Europe is affected by the climate change and how the Europe society environment and economy can uh, are, is are at risk and can adapt to to this kind of extreme weathering climate and that's it's from my side unless you have